Hi everyone, Ron here from LTL Tutoring Central, and this little video is about how to take a right angle trapezoid, draw an identical one, and then connect them to make a parallelogram or a rectangle. And you might be asked to do this at school, so this is a step-by-step -step approach to show you exactly how to do it. And don't be afraid to play around with uh, the figures, and you can even uh, take some paper and cut, it, cut out the shapes and use that to manipulate them and see for yourself how this all works. So enjoy the video and have fun with shapes. Here is an example of a right angle trapezoid, and we can tell it's a right angle trapezoid because you can see where the vertices meet at a 90 degree angle. They've drawn a little box there to show you, but even if they don't draw that in, if you see that you have a 90 degree angle, then you know you have a right angle trapezoid. To make a parallelogram, you want to trace or measure and draw another example of the exact same trapezoid as we've done here. Then you begin to rotate your shape. So you rotate it 90 degrees to start with. And then you rotate it another 90 degrees. Of course, you can do this all at once. You just turn the shape 180 degrees in total. Then you simply slide your shape up to attach the straight sides. So the two straight sides come together and you have a parallelogram. Now one note about the sides of parallelograms. The sides, uh, the parallelogram lines, the angled lines must be uh, moving the same way or showing the same direction. So the, in other words, the lines must be parallel. And now you know where the name comes from. Parallelogram has to have parallel lines. And you notice at the bottom, these are not parallelogram lines. These two lines are not parallel, so this would not form a parallelogram. Now to get a right angle trapezoid to turn into a rectangle, you follow almost the same procedure. You trace or measure the shape and draw another exactly the same. Then you rotate the shape 180 degrees in total. But this time you're going to slide up to the angled side and this should form a rectangle. So there you have it, how to turn a right angle trapezoid into a parallelogram or into a rectangle. So have fun with shapes. Now don't forget you can subscribe to this video channel or you could just like or provide a question or comment. You can check out the other videos here too. There's a couple more math videos and there are more to come. Need more help? Check out the website www.tutoringcentral.com and there's a link uh, underneath the video here as well. Or contact Ron at uh, my email tutoringcentral at hotmail.com.